Hey guys, what's up? This is Gina Ifoe, the one and only African superstar. Big shout outs to you for watching another video. Today I want to talk about let's reject their beauty standards. Today I was scrolling through my Facebook and I ran across this ad for a multicolored rainbow human hair wig. Um, a black woman was modeling it in the video and I checked the comments and there were so many other black ladies that were, uh, you know, complimenting the wig and, oh yeah, I would slay that wig and I love that color and all this kind of stuff. And I thought about how we are really enriching other people's communities by patronize, patronizing non-natural uh, you know, indigenous styles to ourselves. Now, you know, me, like any other woman, I love versatility. On my channel, you'll see that I do a lot of braided styles. Um, I'm also, I also wear my Afro. Sometimes I wear ponytails and I love the versatility of being a black woman. One thing in particular that I never do <laughs> is I don't rock human hair. You know, um, I always go with synthetic for my styles and I actually use a company called Expressions, which some of you may not know is manufactured and produced in Nigeria. Um, so, you know, I think that we should begin to celebrate our natural beauty. We can actually also put these companies out of business that depend solely on the black community to fuel their industries. You know, um, this human hair business, for instance, weaves, wigs, and all this kind of thing. You know, a lot of that, those products are generated in Asia. And we are spending a fortune over there. Um, and the irony, you know, the paradox of the whole thing is we have a beauty that is not able to be mimicked. You know, our variety of complexions, the texture of our hair, our big eyes, our bodies, everything. You know, you can look around the world and see how other people are trying desperately to emulate us. Meanwhile, we don't even realize what we possess. So, you know, I would be amiss as the African superstar to not promote my sisters to start to, you know, rejoice in your own beauty. I take a lot of pride in the fact that, uh, you know, I can do a lot of things with my hair that other people can't do. <laughs> I can rock a fro, I can make it straight, I can braid it, I can do all kinds of things. I can change the colors. You know, I love that versatility. And quite frankly, we've been convinced not to exercise our versatility because it is a beautiful thing and it is something that other people cannot do, you know? Um, so I wanted to speak to this because some women are under the pretense that unless they're dolled up unless they have their hair fixed or they're wearing eyelashes or makeup or nails that they're not beauty beautiful that they actually need additions to improve themselves and really any beauty regimen that you have should just kind of enhance what you already have you know what i mean you should strive to you know maybe you want to look a little bit more polished or you like like myself i love Eye makeup, I love lipstick. I just had a photo shoot, so I'm done up right now. Um, but you know, we need to do better at this. And I mean, you would save you would, a lot of you ladies would spend a lot of money, save a lot of money, honestly. You know, um, I look at those Brazilian wigs and you know, Malaysian and 24 inches and wig closures. I mean, it's a huge investment. <laughs> You're spending so much money on that stuff and you're even giving it to companies that, you know, they're not gonna reciprocate it into our community. They just see it as a cash cow. They see us as the consummate consumer, you know? Um, and personally, I think, you know, exercising our own beauty is a lot more convenient too. You know, when you start to verse yourself in natural styles, you can do your hair at home. You know, you have a lot more uh, time, you save time because, you know, we spent a long time getting our hair done and stuff, you know. I know before I moved to Ghana, I could only really get my hair done once a month because of the time and the expense and all that kind of stuff. Uh, for me, you know, often getting braided styles and whatnot. So this was just a thought that I wanted to share with you guys um, and promote you to stop, you know, pouring money into these communities. You know, it's, it's really dodgy when you think about that, getting yourself dressed up and all this stuff involves putting on somebody else's hair. And if you actually research like the process of how they get that hair, 
um, it might be concerning to you. You know, some women in India, they donate their hair as a religious practice. Uh, and then that hair is turned around and sold, you know, for, for several hundred dollars or whatever to you. There are other people that have been caught, you know, in the markets and stuff, and people just randomly will cut their hair. Um, there's also dead people that, the, you know, some people will take the hair off of corpses and create wigs and all that stuff, you know? So I personally, I just rock with synthetic. Okay. Like I said, all right. Manufactured in Nigeria expressions. If you don't believe me, go get yourself a package. Um, and so, you know, even in doing braided hairstyles and things like that, I still am operating within my community, you know? And uh, furthermore, I really just think we need to do a better job of accentuating and celebrating our own natural beauty. You know, us being beautiful is not assimilating to something else. And matter at unrealistic beauty standards. You know, their beauty standards, we, we, we can't even um, achieve those standards because it's not natural to us, you know? And we should reject it. You know, we should reject all of this brainwashing and subliminal messages that they have given us. You know, we need to go ahead and celebrate ourselves and the way that we were made because we are a majesty. We are magnificent. We are not able to be duplicated. Okay. All right. So that's my thoughts today on this topic. Big shout out to the African superstar family. Please make sure that you like, share, subscribe this video. Please join our channel. If you're not a member, we love to have you guys. Don't forget our, our superstar submissions. I'm waiting uh, to see more submissions from the family. So please do get those in to me as soon as possible. Until we meet again, stay black and true. If you ain't black, just stay true.